Hello my lovely ravens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantelle and today is the last video in the Ravenclaw common room series. Let's dive right into it and stay tuned for a giveaway later in this video. So let's start by sourcing some material for the ceiling because that still needs to be built. And what better material to choose for that than a cardboard box. I'm making sure that all these sides are even, then I level it out with my 1-2-3 blocks and cut strips. From a, a die with my die cut machine, I cut a circle and cut out a circle from paper because I need to find the middle. And when you fold that circle, you will find the middle of that circle. I then make sure that I find the middle of the circle on the die cut circle and then I can glue on the strips that I just cut out of the cardboard to make the roof of the Ravenclaw common room. And by doing this, you will basically create a flexible roof structure that you can then shape in any oval shape that you want. Making sure that the corrugation of the cardboard goes sideways, the strips become flexible. My solution on making this shape the, the size that I wanted it to be, I grabbed a bowl and inside the bowl I built it up with a tub of, I think, modeling paste and my one, two, three blocks. And then I tape the strips to the bowl so it stays in that shape. And I kind of measured it out and it fitted on the top of the common room. And then with pizza slices of cardboard, I glue them in between the strips to close the gaps of the roof. I then had to cut off a big chunk from the front of the roof because the common room is square, but it's really oval. But the one that I built is square. Anyway, I had to cut off a big chunk, so that's what I just did. And then adding some more details to that ceiling because it's all in the details. And magic, it's black. I spray painted it outside and everything is black. You can see that I built up the uh, middle part a little bit more with some more circles, just to give it a little bit more detail in the center there. And then I'm going to paint all the triangle shapes a dark blue. Once that was all nice and dark blue, I wanted to add some more detail to the middle of the ceiling. And I used these fondant shapes that I got from AliExpress and I put some hot glue in there. And whilst I was at it, I also made some frames that I also had these molds for. And I made the frames for the portraits that will go in the common room. And in the end, you will see them. They turned out really, really well. I'm just going over with some more black paint on that detail and then later on I will also make that a bronze. Here are the frames. I spray painted them with black spray paint and now it's time to add the bronze to the ceiling and the frames. I just love how this bronze is looking and I am really, really happy with how these frames turned out and you will see that they really, really add something to the common room. Now onto the lights. I had this string of lights and there's eight strings in there and there's eight parts of the common room ceiling. So that's perfect. So I start from the middle and tape them down and make them into coils so it's easier to work with. Then I poked holes and then just push the lights in and um, at the back of the of the ceiling I glue them down with hot glue and it's not a pretty solution but it's a simple and easy solution and it was very effective as you can see. Obviously we needed some stars so with some white acrylic paint I splatter on some white speckles for 
stars and then I also add some speckles with the bronze and some of those dots I will connect with some lines to make constellations. Let's peel off this masking tape and then reveal the pretty pretty ceiling. I know this pulled up some of the paint but I actually like that grungy look. And onto painting the constellations. They don't represent anything. I just connected some dots. Here you can see me do it with a paintbrush, but later I switch over to an ink dip pen. Here's the result with the lights on, and I'm super, super happy with this. It looks so good. Let's take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Skillshare can help you make 2022 a year of new learning, growth and connection through creativity. Do you have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. It is ad-free, so you can stay in the zone whilst exploring new skills. New premium classes are launched each week, so there's always something new to discover. The first 1000 people to use the link in the description box below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. I have mentioned it before, but the classes by Stephanie Kilgast are my favorites. She specializes in sculpting and watercolors and uses different mediums, which makes her classes very interesting to watch. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into this build. Now I need to make two more cabinets, one that will sit behind the couch and one that will sit on the second floor next to the staircase on the left hand side. So from some foam board, I am cutting out these basic shapes, the backing, the sides, the middle shelf and the top part and glue them all into place with hot glue. I am using my one, two, three blocks to make everything square. I will leave everything, all the supplies that I've used throughout the videos in the description box below, because there are so many things I've used, um, but all basic materials and you can find them all on Amazon. From some black cardstock, I'm cutting out the top and the bottom of the shelving units and place them on top and the bottom. And like I did with all the other cabinets, I'm gluing a strip of cardstock at the front and wherever you can see the foam. So it looks like this and then paint it with the bronze paint. I filled up the cabinets with mainly books and uh, some scrolls and a crystal ball and the other one as well. And then I can place them inside the Ravenclaw common room. So I like to think that Ravenclaws are explorers, just like the books of Gilderoy Lockhart. And I have these miniature maps and I want to create a stand for them. So from some empty or used up washi tape, the rolls that are left over when you're done with the washi tape, I make this little stand and I'm not sure about it. I mean, I place it in the common room. It might be a little bit too modern, but it's it's sitting next to a bookshelf and I think it looks okay in the end. So I'm gluing them together with hot glue and then over the ends where they meet, I put a strip of cardstock and then I paint the entire thing black and then we'll add some accents with the bronze paint. And there we have a finished map stand. Remember the pensive memory vials I made for Dumbledore's office? Well, I kept the leftovers from those little vials and the first two little bits that you can see me show, the, the dark green ones, they are leftovers from those lamps, basically, that I used for the memory files. And I'm going to use them here to make a 
telescope. First I'm going to make the stand for the telescope by cutting down three toothpicks to size. And I have this little wooden leftover thing that I found in my bits box and um, use that to put hot glue in and then put the three toothpicks inside and let that harden. And then I've got something like this and then I glue on top of that another wooden thing so that hot glue is not visible anymore. Then here we've got one of those lamp leftovers. I cut off that bottom bit and then I'm left with this thing and I will glue this cut down piece of dowel. I cut that down to I think one and a half or two inches and then on top of that green thing I place a little cabochon which will obviously be the lens of the telescope. At the very end of the dowel I glue a strip of paper, a strip of black paper and then Behind that, I'm gluing that other piece that was left over from the little Christmas lights. And at the very end, a tiny round bead, and then it's ready for painting. I paint the entire thing black, as with most things in this common room, and then rub on the bronze paint. And I think this is pretty convincing as a, a little telescope for a miniature room. Finally, I'm just attaching a tiny little bead to the stand so the telescope can lean on that. And then on top of that, I glue down the actual telescope. Of course, we need a few more knickknacks in this common room. So I have these little spools. They're just craft spools and these tiny foam balls. Now I'm going to glue the balls on top of the dowels with some wood glue. I give them a base coat of black paint. and then go over them with a light gray and a white, just to give them a, an aged, maybe a bit of a stone kind of look. And then the indent on the base will be bronze. I twisted together some floral wire and bent it in like a C shape and glue it to the foam ball with some wood glue and then to the ends of the floral wire pieces I glue some tiny metal beads and then it looks like this. Jenny from Wizardry Workshop kindly helped me out with getting these three paintings to me to use in the common room and the other three I sourced myself and I'm going to place the frames that I made earlier around the paintings. The document that Danny provided to me is available for download in the description box below. And here are all the paintings. Now let's talk about this giveaway. Once I reach 30,000 subscribers on my channel, I want to give these goodies away plus a few extra. They are the fabrics I use in the common room, the chair and a few other bits and pieces. More details in the description box below. Now this part of this video is all the items that will be placed inside the common room. Everything is handmade by either me or stuff sent in. All the items that you can see that are on the couch are the ones that are made by you guys. They are sent to me and made by my subscribers and I'm so, so grateful for these pieces. They are invaluable to me and I love every single one of them. Denny has made... the birdie bots, every flavor beans and the chocolate frogs in real size. I just scaled them down. So if you go to his 
website or to his uh, YouTube channel, you can find them by just looking for them. Also, some of the Daily Prophets and some of the Quibblers are his as well. Here is the couch and you can see all the wonderful pieces that you guys have made and that pillow, the rug and the scarf are also made by you guys. Fantastic. So much creativity out there. Now let's place these items inside the common room. I want to thank you all so much for coming on this journey with me. It's definitely not been an easy project and to be honest, I'm glad it's finished, but I'm really happy with the result. The Luna Love Good hat was made by me. It's crocheted and took forever to make. There is just one thing missing, Rowena Ravenclaw's statue. I tried to make it, but for some reason I failed. I tried to look for something on Etsy, but to no avail. Please let me know in the comments down below if you know where I can purchase perhaps a 3D printed one. If I do find one, I'll post it on my Instagram, so please make sure to give me a follow over there. My lovely Ravens, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.